All right, guys, we're back with another one. And this is a video comparison between the LG G6 versus the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So here we have it. These are two flagship phones. They may be now in different price range, but they are flagship phones nonetheless. Glass on glass builds. Aluminum builds, really strongly made. They both have water resistance. They both have mono speakers. They both have awesome cameras. These phones match up for this battle. You have an always on screen, which is awesome, 5.7 inches. And it has little bezels. The bezels is what makes this phablet phone feel so good in the hand because it's phablet territory in a phone size. This is awesome. This phone got some nice little bezels. They just look awesome. You got this edge panel on the side so it could lead to some shortcuts. Awesome. This is an incredible phone and the price reflects. Both of these screens are 1440p and they both look awesome. But an AMOLED screen just looks so much better than a regular LCD. Now, when it comes to reviewing, looking at content, that's where a conversation needs to be started. Samsung has a 6.2 inch screen. This is a different type of ratio that we're not accustomed to, but Samsung has put in some software to expand that screen. So when you're watching something on YouTube and you're gonna have those black bars on the sides, you can easily just tap the screen, press that little indicator right there, and you can expand the screen so you can have that full size 6.2 inch resolution. That's awesome. When it comes to LG, there is no button to expand the screen. So in reality, you have a 5.7 inch screen, but you're only watching content using 5.4 inches of the screen. That's a problem LG, but you should be able to fix it with a software update. Now, when it comes to multitasking, you can have some good multitasking experience with both phones. So when it comes to the screens, both of them are awesome, but LG, you gotta do something about us watching our content. We wanna utilize the whole screen. Now, when it comes to the front facing cameras, LG is going with their five megapixel camera that can expand with the wide angle. We like that. Samsung has gone with the 8 megapixel shooter and it's fantastic. They did a good job. Both of these phones got fantastic front facing cameras. But I got to say for Samsung going up to 8 megapixels, I'm going to say this is the better front facing camera. I really like it. And both of them got those beauty modes, but Samsung can, with their filters and stuff like that, you can have more fun with Instagram with this phone. Now, when it comes to the rear cameras, you got 12 megapixels versus two 13 megapixels. Now, normally I would say two cameras is better than one. But in this case, these 13 megapixel shooters as much as I like the wide angle and you don't lose and you don't get any distortion it's not really a problem when you're going into wide angle you're not losing any type of resolution or anything like that but the problem these 13 megapixel cameras are good shooters but they're not great
Samsung has a great camera back here. Now, it may not be able to go wide angle, but I would pick this camera over LG's when it comes to the S8 versus the G6. Now, when it comes to both of these phones, when we're talking about battery life, battery life on both of these phones are definitely passable. But I would say battery life on the Samsung is a bigger battery and it gives definitely better performance. Check out my battery life reviews that I did on both of these phones for better reference. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is probably the best phone when it comes to battery life that Samsung has ever made. It's on point. When it comes to charging your phone, both of these phones have fast charging features and they definitely charge up fast. LG G6 have wireless charging and that is awesome for this phone. When it comes to the Samsung Galaxy S8, this has fast charging, wireless charging when you pick up Samsung's wireless charger. But if you have any wireless charger laying at home, you can use that as well. Now let's talk about the performance of each phone. Snapdragon 835, Snapdragon 821. Both of them got 4 gigs of RAM. LG has reduced the storage to 32. But you can expand the memory as well. Through SD card. Samsung is giving you 64 gigs of storage. And you can expand the storage as well. When it comes to speed between processors. I am no longer that concerned with the processor gain. All these Snapdragon processors are coming out for flagship phones. They're very fast. My concern is RAM and both of these phones with four gigs of RAM perform very good. So when it comes to performance, I got to give it a pass because they both perform very well. Now, now quickly when it comes to security, Samsung got their fingerprint scanner first time they have it in the back and it performs very good but it's not the fastest fingerprint scanner anymore. It took a little step back. Plus the fact that you'll never find it, you always have to really concentrate on finding it. I've gotten better. Now when it comes to LG, this is an easy fingerprint scanner to find. You're in, it's not the fastest, but the LG is getting better in the fingerprint scanner market. But there's no phone with more little tips and tricks and to get into your phone than Samsung. You got the iris scanner, you got the face recognition, you got that fingerprint scanner, of course, you got your codes. There's so many ways to get into your phone. Just pick one. Is it worth it paying so much for a phone? I would say definitely yeah. Both these phones are rocking it when it comes to flagship performance. But if you want a lot of features, you'll go with the Samsung. If you want to save some cash, you'll go with the LG G6. But for me, I recommend if you want to be a baller and you want to take advantage of the full screen, you want to get the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. It's no doubt it's the best phone on the market right now. And I must say it beats the LG G6. I would say LG, get it done when it comes to exp 
expanding so we can use the whole screen. This has been the battle between the G6 versus the S8 Plus. Samsung wins.